y'all need to get that lemonade. What a do, boo, it is your girl, bro, so and welcome back home to my channel. Wherever every single one of you guys belong. If you guys are new, hi, hello. <laughs> Don't be shy to subscribe to my channel. I know I haven't really been here lately, but I'm here now. I know that it has been a while since I've been here posting on my channel. I know that I was raving about Texas and then I was like part one and then it's a month later and you guys are like, okay, so where's part two? Donde estas part two? Donde? Nowhere. I'm not, I mean, I don't know if you guys have like guessed this by now, but I'm not gonna be posting part two to my texas vlog because i don't know i just don't really feel the need to if i'm gonna keep it real oh she sees the reflection of my cup if i'm gonna keep it real um my texas trip was okay it could have went better but you know it is what it is and um some shit happened and i just don't feel comfortable or just okay to put part two up because I don't know. I don't know if I could like put part two up <laughs> without being shady. I'm just I'm just gonna be real. I don't know if I could do part two without being shady and I'm trying really hard not to be shady. So yeah, there's there's not gonna be a part two. I am here to kind of like update you guys on what's been going on, what's going on in my life and things like that. Things have been kind of crazy around here, not gonna lie, not gonna lie. I will say this, my life is gonna be changing pretty drastically um within the next year i don't know how else i could say that but yeah it's going to be changing pretty drastically within a year um i am going to be updating you guys slowly through the process of everything so don't think i'm just gonna say this and then not post anything because i have all the attentions of posting for for a while. And one of the videos that I'm gonna be posting up next is gonna be a King Palm video, which is basically where the brand King Palm sent me a bunch of their products. Is that what they're called, products? I don't know. But the next video that I'm gonna be posting is gonna be my King Palm video, where I'm gonna be posting a bunch of their products. They gave me a 10% off code, but I don't know if I could like give that to you guys, or if that was just specifically for me. I don't know, I don't wanna put it out there and then, you know, you guys be like, it didn't fucking work, bitch. I don't know. I don't know how that's gonna go down. I do have a King Palm video coming out. Other videos that I'm gonna be doing are more day in my life. Uh, probably some hair tutorials because like look at this this side profile like this is the struggle side but this is the pretty lit side but um some videos that i'm gonna be posting our day in my life um more vlogs i'm currently working on a video project right now i have not worked on a video project and i don't know how long like when i say video project meaning this video is con it's been taking over several days. It's probably gonna be like 15 to 20 minutes. And I don't even know why. Like that's what I consider a video project. Cause I try to keep my videos like 10 minutes and less just because like, I don't want to take up all that much time especially if I'm doing something really simple, really small. Like, like there's no reason for me to take up like a whole fucking hour of your guys' time if I'm just gonna be doing my makeup or just gonna be doing a vlog, whatever. So I am currently working on a video project. I will not say what it is, but just know. I think you guys will enjoy it. I just want to come on here and let you guys know that I did not die off from my channel completely. I just had to take a break. I had to take an emotional break. Oh, if you guys follow me on Tumblr, I'm shadow banned, which is so fucking weird. Let me tell you guys something because this, this has been pissing me off. So I cannot stand Instagram. I do not fuck with Instagram. The algorithm is like set for hoes. So I looked at the status of my Instagram account. I have like two violations and then it told me that like I'm close to getting my account taken away or some shit like that. And I think it's fucking stupid because me and my friend Chrissy, I noticed it with her and I noticed it like with other people that I also follow, but like their accounts get like suspended or like they get banned for stupid ass reasons. And it's like, when I say stupid ass reasons, I mean, people will literally come on the page and be like, oh my God, you fucking suck balls, bitch. Literally, they'll say some shit like that. But then when I, when I, or even like anybody else that I know that I fuck with responds back, it's like, oh, nope, you're in violation. Did you? Did you, did you not see what they wrote? But whatever, that is how I feel. I don't fuck with Instagram, I think it's fucking stupid. I like Twitter, Twitter is pretty chill and I like TikTok, TikTok's pretty chill, but I do not fuck with Instagram. I fucking hate Instagram. 
I hate Instagram because I can't respond back to somebody insulting somebody else on my page. But people like, and I'm just throwing out names, I have nothing against this chick, but people like Black China and all these other Instagram people, Instagram thoughts, can post about sex toys, playing with the vibrator in public, like just weird shit like that. I can't defend myself for my friends. I think that's fucking weird. I think that's weird. I think that's janky. If you ask me, I think Instagram is some type of form of sex ring because why is it that we only allow sexual things on Instagram? Because I've literally found accounts where girls post like their bare ass boobs. Why is it okay for those accounts to exist? But I can't. I can't, re I can't respond back to somebody calling me a bitch. Like, it's not like I'm calling them a cunt. I'm literally making an even playing field and saying, look, bitch, you're the bitch. That's literally all I would say. And it's like, you can't say that. Another thing too, if you guys have been noticing, or if you guys follow me on my Instagram page, I stopped going to the nail salon and I've been doing just press on nails. It's different. I thought that I would not like it. But I actually do like it because I get to do a whole bunch of styles and I get to change my nails whenever. Like literally if I'm tired of them, I just pop them off. Boom, pop them off. And they don't nearly do as much damage as acrylic nails. The only reason why I stopped going to nail salons is because I was watching this particular nail lady. Her Instagram is Nails by Jakey. You guys should totally check out her page. She's based in Arizona. So nuts. But I'm pretty sure she's based in Arizona and I will literally pop in and watch her lives because she gets good feedback. My nail salon, I, my nail salon that I always went to like pretty solidly for like two years. I would go on their page and I would see, like I would check out their story and then all the posts is like, oh, so-so got their nails done, so-so got their nails done. But I never really see people post two weeks later, three weeks later. I noticed that the nails by Jakey on her page, she always posts nails. Like, look, this is like three months. This is a month after I did their nails. This is two weeks after I did their nail. And like their nails stay on. There's no breaking, there's no lifting, there's none of that. And it's not like I take poor care of my nails because I actually do take care of my nails. But I just noticed that when I was going to the salon that I was going to, my nails would be lifting and then breaking off like at two, two and a half weeks. And for somebody like me, that has like a heavy duty job such as like delivering packages and stuff like I don't like my press on nails do better lasting than my acrylic nails that I got. Once when my nails start lifting, that was it. And that's usually when the damage started. And for somebody like me, I may have to wait a day or two for me to go into the nail salon because I just don't have time unless I like literally gotta wake up booty ass early. And even then, like even then, like it's no guarantee that I'll be able to get in because like they're so fucking busy. I haven't found a nail tech that I personally could fuck with. Like I tip heavy when I get a service done. So if I get a service done, and it's not even like at the end of the day, like I'm still not completely satisfied. It's like, cause I would lay about like $120 for a set, including tip. Why am I dropping a hundred plus dollars for a set of nails that aren't even like really doing the job? Literally, I could take that money and go to, let's say like the nails by Jakey Chick. Let's say I take that money and I go to her. Like I know my nails will last long. I know my nails will stay. I know they won't lift. I know all that. That's just like kind of like where I'm at. I kind of want to do my own nails, but I just don't really have the time, the patience, the craft, the creativity. So I just been wanting to press on nails, which is just as fine. Honestly, it's just as fine with me. By the way, this is the berry lemonade from Wiener Settle or the wild berry. If you get nothing else from Wiener Central, get the berry lemonade because this shit is so fire. I just want to come on here and post a quick little video and let you guys know that I'm still here and that I'll be posting once again very soon. I just need to take a break. Next video that I'll be posting is the King Palm video. So I think that y'all should be peeped out for that. Thank you guys so much for this video. What? <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you guys enjoyed it, Please leave a like and a comment and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram and Twitter and TikTok and Tumblr. I'm probably gonna have to post my second Tumblr page because like I said, I'm shadow banned off of Tumblr. I will see you guys in my next video. Until then, stay cool.